Hey, this is Robert with a automotive quick tip. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to give you a quick tip on a very common problem with these P80 Volvos. It may affect other Volvos as well, but these P80s is what I know, what I deal with. And this particular problem deals with your ECT sensor. You look at your cylinder head, your upper radiator hose comes in here, and this sensor is right here. On the early P80 cars with the N engines, this sensor is screwed in with a 19 millimeter. They're normally not in there that tight. You don't have to put them in there too tight. If you do, you'll probably crack your thermostat housing or strip out the threads. But anyway, this sensor tells the computer if the engine is hot or cold and how hot or how cold it is. The computer takes that information from this sensor and helps the car idle along with your O2 sensor and your mass airflow sensor and this will make your car run rich or lean. Matter of fact, if your engine is actually cold and this sensor tells the computer that the engine is hot, your engine will run so lean that it probably won't start. It'll say, hey, this engine's already hot, give it very little fuel, boom, car not starting. On the other hand, if the engine is hot and this sensor is telling the computer that the engine is cold, it will dump too much fuel in the engine and it may flood it out, cause a hard start, cause rough starting idles, things like that, and it'll be blowing black smoke, do all kind of stuff. So. I'm going to put the code number for the sensor right here on the screen, and I'll put it in the remarks, the error code. But if this sensor is bad, it may or may not throw a code. Sometimes if you have an OBD2 tool connected to your OBD2 port, you can read the live data and see what this sensor is telling the computer the engine temperature is. I've also seen where this sensor cause the temperature gauge inside on the dash to bounce around run hot run cold if you walk out to your car and it's been sitting all night the engine is ice cold and you start it up and your temperature gauge reads normal temperature as soon as the engine starts this sensor is bad and i tell people all the time volvos are sensitive to sensors you just can't go to Walmart and buy a sensor, put it in your Volvo, man. It is not going to act right. It's not going to like it. But people do it anyway. They'll go buy aftermarket sensors. Doesn't work when you plug it in. It's already acting bad. So you go chasing some other rabbit hole when it's this sensor. You got to get the good ones. Another symptom of this sensor being bad is you shut the car off and the car is at normal temperature. But your engine coolant fan runs four or five minutes. It may run an hour. It may cut on while you're in the house sleep. Drain your battery. That sensor right there. Being erratic. But you can't put a cheap Walmart one in there. I'm just saying Walmart. Walmart doesn't sell these sensors. But you get the point. This inexpensive knockoff parts that people claim are as good as OEM. If you don't get a good one in there, you're going to be fighting this battle over and over again. So replace this ECT sensor with a quality one and you should be good to go. Now I ordered a brand new one. My daughters went bad in her car when your car overheated. And a lot of times when your car overheats, it destroys those too. When her car overheated, I ordered a brand new one, put it in, lasted 10 days. 10 days later, thing went bad. Had to replace it, put another one in. And I've got one from a junkyard, put it in there. It's been in there ever since eight years later the old used junker one five dollars work fine but it's got to be the good quality one that Volvo put in the car so I said all that to say this if you're having problems starting when the car is cold it might be your ECT sensor if you're having problems starting when the car is hot it might be your ECT sensor so Check out the video, replace that, possibly your thermostat too. Hopefully that'll solve your hard starting, running rich, running lean issues. Thanks for watching. 
If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.